So today's session, we're going to talk about skid flip versus continuation. We get a lot of questions about the difference between the two. And just to draw a quick picture of what um, skid flip looks like, it's a skid zone and a flip. So this would be skid, flip, followed by roll. So you have skid, flip roll, a skid hook roll, and continuation. Continuation is more of a more rounded move. Um, it's also how the ball goes through the pins, not so much the, the motion on the lane. So in a, in a skid flip scenario, the ball skids to the, to the break point, makes a quick transition, heads towards the pins, and then the amount of continuation of roll happens after that. So if this zone of flip is too quick and too violent, you're going to lose some of the roll and you lose some of the continuation. <clears throat> Let's use an example of what ball that would be. Let's talk about the results plus and the incognito. OK, the glaring difference between the two balls is the intermediate diff of 027 and 017. So both will get down the lane pretty good because the cover stock of similarities in cover stock, meaning they're both pearlized, in this case of the incognito pearl. But once they come off the spot, the transition from skid to hook to roll is more gradual here and therefore it continues more through the pins. There's more energy, it retains its axis rotation a little bit longer. In the case of the result plus, with that higher intermediate diff, you're gonna have skid to the break point, a quick dramatic move, direction change is gonna be quicker, and then you're gonna have a shorter roll period, which means that after a certain amount of time going through the skid flip and then roll, you begin to lose energy. So you could have uh, less continuation here in some cases, and more here, but in a case where the oil pattern is different, this ball would be beneficial because it comes off the spot more violently, makes a quick move and continues through the pins if it's a shorter duration for the roll. The longer the roll, the more continuous. So let's talk away the ball goes through the pins. With the skid flip, you have more energy down lane, a more violent reaction. Um, it creates a greater angle of entry, and you strike more with a larger angle of entry in many cases. The downside is, once you reach that point of no return where the flip and the roll are not beneficial for striking, you start leaving corner pins. In the case of the uh, incognito pearl, <coughs> where it's more of a gradual change of direction, um, it gets to the, to the break point, begins its hook phase, and continues through the pins. You're going to see more splitting of the 8-9 here than you might here. Uh, and this here, obviously, is what we always preach when it comes to uh, ball motion in our videos, we like to see balls split the 8-9. In the case of the skid flip ball, it's probably the angle of entry that's creating more strikes, not so much the continuations with the pins. And if you have any questions about it, let us know what you think. Tell us how your balls react and what you're seeing, and maybe we can help out. Put those comments in the section below. We'll see you next time.